All right guys, so today I'm gonna to do a flight with my DJI Spark drone, and I'm gonna show you guys how to change your flight speeds a little bit and get better, smoother footage. And this will help you out with uh, cinematic footage, trying to get some faster footage, if you will, but keep it smooth. So as you've noticed, I'm sure guys, if you put it in sport mode, you know, you're getting all this jerky footage up and down because it's flying around fast. But when you're in regular mode, yes, it's smoother, but the problem is, is that it's somewhat slow. You can only go like six mile an hour, seven mile an hour when it's in regular mode. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get it to go faster without putting it in sport mode. That way it still maintains the good uh, gimbal smoothness um, and you have less editing to do in the future. So I hope you guys find this useful. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Please click on that bell notification for any future uh, updates so you don't miss any tips. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Please give a thumbs up on it if you found anything in here useful. And this is the first time using my lavalier mic here. So uh, please comment below and let me know if the audio sounds a little better than in some of my other videos. Thanks for watching, guys. So I'm going to get this bird up in the air today, and hopefully you guys can learn something. First thing I want you guys to notice is when you're in regular mode, I have the obstacle avoidance sensors on. The maximum speed that it can go right now is five to like five and a half to seven mile an hour. There's a few different speed settings that you can adjust on this. The first one to get your smoothest footage is you want to adjust that gimbal speed. So see how it's real smooth now when I go up and down? Now what you want to do is you want to go into your settings here and you want to go into your camera. Then what you want to do is select your gimbal pitch speed. Right now I have mine set on 5 and that's about where you want it for good cinematic footage. Or you could take it lower if you want, take it higher, whatever suits your needs. But you'll see here if you take it all the way up and you go back out, that gimbal is going to be so fast it's going to be so hard to get good footage with that gimbal being up that high. So you want to go into there and uh, turn that down. Like I said, I usually like to put mine right around five. When I'm up in the air flying and I'm trying to get cinematic footage, I often want to go faster than the seven mile an hour. But when you go into sport mode, I'm going to show you that when you turn and you all left and right, the footage is just unusable. I mean, you have to go in and crop all that out. You know, uh, sure it's fast and everything, but you really don't, nobody wants to watch a video that has footage that's, you know, all over the place like that. So what you want to do is keep it out of sport mode, but if you want to go faster than seven mile an hour, you want to go up into your settings and you want to turn off obstacle avoidances. And that is in your, uh, right here under the sensors, disable that. And then, you're going to be able to fly almost twice as fast instead of the six to seven mile an hour. You're going to be able to go somewhere around 12 mile an hour, 12 to 13 mile an hour. And what that's going to do is that's going to enable you to, when you're up in the air trying to get that footage, you can yaw left and right. Let me back up here and show you guys. So instead of trying to turn, see I'm going to go forward here and turn. See, it's still going to be a little bit hard to get good smooth footage turning because the three there's no three axis gimbal like the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro. But if you just yaw as you're going, just yaw to the left, you know, maybe try to turn it a little bit, yaw to the right, you're still going to get your shot and it's going to be a lot smoother. Disable them obstacle avoidance sensors if you want to go faster and uh, still get good footage. Another thing you guys can do is you can adjust the flight speed of your Spark. So what you want to do there is you want to go into your settings and you want to go to your controller, go into stick mode, and then down here you'll see maximum flight speed settings. Now mine, I, mine is set on the max, which I was getting uh, six to seven mile an hour with the obstacle avoidance on, and I was getting about 12 to 13 with the obstacle avoidance off. But you could take this all the way down 
to almost nothing and you'll see here I'm not in tripod mode but my max speed is going to be seven mile an hour now with the obstacle avoidance off. Now if I turn the obstacle avoidance back on you'll see that it's going to get even slower and it's going to go roughly three mile an hour or so which is what it went with the obstacle avoidance on when I was in tripod mode. Now the only benefit about doing this versus going into tripod mode when you're in this mode here you can adjust the speed all the way down but your gimbal speed is going to stay at whatever you have it set to. When you're in tripod mode that gimbal speed is so slow if you're trying to aim up or down at any speed at all you're not going to get it it's just really really slow so if you want your gimbal speed to work a little bit better a little bit faster than when you're in uh, tripod mode just go ahead and adjust your speeds down and put your gimbal speed to whatever you want and it'll stay at that gimbal speed i hope i didn't lose you guys on that one if you have any questions please ask below i'll try to explain it the best i can all right, all right guys so the battery's getting low on me so i'm gonna go ahead and bring it home and uh, shut her down. Hi right, guys, so I hope you found those couple tips helpful in getting better cinematic footage and it's gonna help you edit your videos a little bit easier so you don't have so much jerkiness to edit out. Please uh, check out some of my other videos, some of my other tutorials, go into my playlists. I got some other good tips on there, how to use some of the things in the DJI Go 4 app and just a couple other uh, cool tips on how to stay in line during flight so please check it out guys please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this or found anything helpful and don't forget please share like subscribe hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future tips thanks for watching guys